take those off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll kind of, I'll info dump on my spooky <laughs> shit. I mean, <laughs> basically, <laughs> there's a town's yeah. curse, and there's a plague, and nobody mm-hmm. wants anybody there, and the government came in and just blew the shit out of the place and burned it all down, and they locked it up, mm-hmm. and nobody talked about it. They said there was slaves and booze and... White slavery, booze runners, right. Um, That's now. People died. Some soldiers died during the attack. Is that now? Yes. Uh, about a year ago. It's cur- oh, okay. it's currently Just locked down. Now. Yeah, right now, and so now that it's under martial law. That plague ain't catching, is it? Well, I haven't heard any of your official reports about the plague, but um, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, 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 I. They get big eyes, and they get like. Just imagine scaly like skin, and, and every time you get, and they get uh, <laughs> just, yeah. and their mouth gets real like big. Too hard. Usually, it, it's they think it's inbreeding. Oh, okay. that's George. That's all George. They're breeding with fish. Oh my God, it is cute. What? Uh, 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 maybe I don't know. You, you, you can do that. No. I can you. George and Gordon are on the same page. <laughs> what are your plans? What are your plans? I want to hear your plans. Donald pulls out his sketchbook and he's drawing. He's looking at your map. Yeah, I'll say, like, my, my plan A is we come down this road, go in through A, we can just get into the town, like, without... How is it E? Where's A? A. A. Oh, okay, and you tell them there's barricades there, but no guards. Yeah, no okay, guards. Okay, okay. We can just get in. So that's the first plan. What's plan B? Alright, so plan B is we go through the hellish swamp, swamp and just, marsh. there's a guard here, we go past the guard into the hellish swamp marsh. Okay. Plan you know C swamps, is if that swamp, swamp marsh doesn't work out, we can go back out of the swamp, back onto the road, and through this other area of swamp okay. where there's no guards in between. Plan D, there's a third area of swamp that we can trudge through. It's a longer walk than others, which is why it's okay. plan D. Um, plan E is if instead of going this way, if none of those other plans work, we can go all the way back to where we started, go out to the left instead, and cross through the march onto the other roads of the town. Right. Uh, plan F, this road that I haven't checked out, but it looked really cool. And plan D is we just go through the water and go around it all and swim. Or get a boat. Well, it seems like in chronological order, we should go. Um, wait, is it... Oh, so that we don't have time to yeah, okay. sniff her out. Numerical. Swim. Mm. Numerical cross. Does anybody have more than twenty five percent in swim? I think twenty five is base. I have yeah. yeah. Everybody, everybody has base. Nobody really has twenty five in swimming. Do you? I have thirty percent. Okay, that makes sense. So. <laughs> okay. Edward requested that we stay out of the water. I'm first. Edward, you're smart. Which one do you think we should do? A. Here we go. Let's try A. You got a backup plan. Yeah, I think in alphabetical order, we probably should go with your first. A. 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 He's the best one, but, um... Can I nominate him for a coin? That's a lot of work. Yeah. I really appreciate that, though. <clears throat> what, just labeling a bunch of random paths? Well, you've been I mean, a lot of good like role plays as well. That. That's really good. Okay. I'm probably going to say yes to most nominations, so... As long as it doesn't get out of hand. Anyway. Okay, so, that's the plan. He's got five or six plans, and we're going to go with the first one. And are you guys going to try to enter the Dreamlands tonight? To no, try to talk to Cousin Nabo? Yeah. Okay. Um... Everybody beds down, uh, gets to sleep eventually. Caffeine keeps some of you awake a little longer than, than usual, but for the most part, you're getting into the dreamlands. Um, you can meet up there after pro- a short period of time. You guys probably hang out in the dreamlands a lot and do stuff together. Try Here's to stay away. Can I control my voice places. in the dreamlands? Uh, sure. You can have a little more control. Well, yeah, you can change what you wear. Yeah, the dreamlands. Can you have, like, big muscles? Uh, give me a dreaming roll uh, if you want to do that. <laughs> Can you manifest yourself as this person? Fuck. 60. No, okay, so no, you can't give yourself big muscle. I'm going to let you have to control your voice, though. In the demons, at least. Um, Yes. So so you probably talk like you write. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Okay. So you guys find each other in the dreamlands probably after a short time. You probably... Do you guys... Do you think you would hang out in the dreamlands together for the most part? Um, You have little adventures. You try to stay away from the dangerous sections. Cousin Melba usually... Tries to help you. You're probably at her castle, actually, um, which I don't have the Dreamland stuff. The castle tries a, to take stuff out of the, the Dreamlands. Yeah, everything. Uh, if you if it you disappears take, though, right? Yes, when everything. Nothing right? comes back with you. I know. I constantly try the to take. The other thing is, if you try to take something into the Dreamlands, like um, if you decide, oh, I'm going to put a tape recorder in my pocket tonight, or uh, anything that's like technological, 
after you're in the dreamlands for a very short time, it reverts to something that's more accustomed to that time period, which is about so 500 years ago. Shovel? If you take your shovel, it, 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 it turns into more of a regular right, shovel. shovel rather than it, a fold-up it, one. A tape right. recorder or um, some kind of a... Like, if, if you took a telephone into the dreamlands, it would probably turn into paper and pencil. Or what if I take my magic dagger? Ink and cool. Your magic dagger doesn't change at all, actually. Neither does your switchblade turns into like yeah. a dagger dagger. Hell yeah. Whereas your your magic dagger doesn't change okay, at all. Okay. Um, Gertie's coins don't change, for instance, if they're in her pocket when she goes to sleep. Your axe probably gets a little bit more um medieval Yeah, exactly. Um, um your books don't change significantly, especially if they're written in Latin. Uh anyway, so but the Dreamlands is like five hundred years ago yeah, is the yeah. technological yeah. era. Although so I do have cannons, because there are cannons in this land that Melville lives in. So I don't have to make it. Are cannons cannon? No, no, no. If you if you go to bed with your axe in your bed with you, it'll come. It can come to the dreamlands with you. I'm gonna say. So yes. No bad. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible puns. Uh, you find Melba okay. in, in, in and I don't have the picture of the Melba from the dreamlands, unfortunately. But um, mm-hmm. uh, even hotter. She's she is. She's got you know. Very very lush clothing. You meet uh, the the children from the Dreamlands have grown up like, because it's been years in the Dreamlands since Christmas two years ago. So they've grown up and gone on their way. The children she adopted. And she keeps adopting new children. She finds orphans. She brings them into her home. Uh, she has a castle. She has servants. Yep. Uh, there's a bunch of Krampus there because uh, they work for her now. Okay. Remember? Um, oh wait, is that one still there that I threw the axe at? Yes. Oh. I don't know. Did you did you make? Good with him over the years. I tried to hug him after that. He ran away. From he did right after, but over the last two years of dreaming. I'm sure, yeah. Okay, so you guys are like best of okay, friends right. now. He's like, <gasps> Gordon! Uh, the Krampus seemed very kind of oh, simple. He thought, they thought like this, hey, how are you doing? Uh, <laughs> they're Krampus. Yeah. They have goat legs and but horns. But they talk like that? They talk like this. They all talk like this. Why Welcome okay. back, children. You are still children, I'm but all the other children grow up. Goat person, like, hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> okay. No, more Russian. <laughs> He's Russian. <laughs> Italian. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so anyway, okay. you meet with with cousin Mel, but she's glad she's she's glad to see you. Um, you guys probably spend quite a bit of time in Dreamland with her, um, especially the Gunwich kids, because they can actually visit cousin Mel without having to go out. Um. And um, she meets you. Have a lavish meal with uh, her. Yeah. Uh, during the meal, you guys can talk. Um, yeah, I say, like, I haven't felt comfortable, I guess, like, or, or brave enough to question, like, go along this line of questioning it. Of, like, That's what funny. happened to Aunt Margie. I don't want to know if she has any information. Aunt Margie. Is that your aunt from Innsmouth? Yes. I never really knew her. I know that the Inns- Innsmouth people are strange. I've, I've never really learned much of, about them. I um, knew her very well. She she saved me when I was, when I was a, younger. Good. I, I mean, that's great. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know much about her though. I, I never met her uh, in the real world. I've never seen her in the dreaming, or at least she's never come uh, here. Um, I, I mean, what do you need to know about her? I mean, I might be able to look up some things um, in Kingsport in the real world. Well, she was sick with some kind of illness. I was, I was never told the name of, and hmm. she, my family said she had to go away, but. I just never believed that. I her house is empty, and I, I I've, I've never seen her. Didn't you see a figure in her window or something? Yeah. Is that that. Do you, yeah. you relate that to? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm uh yeah, I'll say I have like possible glimpses of 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 I don't know what in inside of her her windows. I. Probably a figment of my imagination, but still, I, I can't get it out of my mind. So you think she? Do you think she might still be there, even after the raid and everything? She's not a ghost. I don't know much about her at all. Okay, she's comforting you, Alice. She takes you in her arms and she holds you, and she says, "If there's any, anything I can do in the real world to help you, or here, you let me know." Do you need a ride up there? I mean, I haven't been there, so I don't know. I know the military's still up there, from what I've heard. Are they still up there? I have concocted a lavish... (laughs) (laughs) Perfectly impenetrable plan to get us into Innsmouth. Several plans. Okay. Who can trust me to get everyone in there safely? So you don't need any help from me at all? I can borrow a car. I can drive you all up there. 
Well, that would be nice. But how would how would we get past we the have military to checkpoints? I I don't know. I, I haven't been up to Innsmouth since the raid. I I don't know about any military checkpoints. And I could act as a, a superiority. So well, with my amazing plan. I could um mm. I could act as a distraction. So it would be safer to ride our bikes individually. The distraction plan is something that I did not think of. But I like the bike's plan still, because it's the one I came up with. And I still okay. think it's very good. I put a lot of work into it. When are, are you planning on going to the Well, yes. Okay, be careful. I've heard there's strange things that happen up there. Yes. Here. Do you have any details on the strange things? No, there's... I've heard about fishermen who fish in the Inglet waters world. from Falcon's Point. Say in a world. In a world. <laughs> I've heard about some sailors, some people, some fishermen who tried to fish in Innsmouth Water from Falcons Point and Martin's Beach, and bad things happen to them. Um, their, their boats get stove in, um, their nets get torn, ripped to shreds. Such a terrible thing to be afraid of. Yeah. I, that's what I've heard of. Well, I'd like to help somehow. So, I'll bar, I'm, wait, wait, when are you planning on going? When we wake up? Uh, are all of you here? I mean, are you in Innsmouth right now? We're not, are we? No, no you guys in Innsmouth. Yeah, switch. yeah, we're in Okay, we well, If we were in Innsmouth, we probably wouldn't be talking about the plan to get into Innsmouth that we have yet to enact. You're so clever, Edward. You're right. Don't get such a nice. Gertrude, Melba's so nice. But he's right. Okay, where are you? Where are all of you? Ipswich. You're in Ipswich. Okay. That's house. not far from Innsmouth. Wait, did we fall asleep in my house? Yeah, you, you, everybody's, everybody's sleeping. No, everybody's sleeping in your bed. We're at my house. Like in camping Ipswich. out. I tell you what, um, I don't work tomorrow, so I'm, I will drive up to Ipswich tomorrow. I, I, there's some people I can borrow a car from. She gives a look like the word "people" should be replaced by "men." Um, Cousin Mel is obviously very beautiful, and there's probably she has probably a lot of people, a lot of men um, suitors. Who um, are would you willing to do whatever they, she wants? But she usually doesn't take advantage of them because she's no but She's awesome, you know. Using men for material aspects. Eh, Barring a car. <laughs> anyway, she says um, she will drive up to it's with, it's with. When do you plan on entering? Uh, do are you going after dark? I think with the cover of dark, that would probably be best. Okay, she'll drive up to it's switch tomorrow night um, around dinner time and surprise everyone. Is what she says, and have dinner with it. And then, if there's anything you need from her or the vehicle, she'll be available. And she'll be around. She doesn't know what she could do if you guys run into trouble in Innsmouth, but if you do, she'll be around. That's what she okay. tells you. Because she wants to help. Um, she gives you a hug. Well, she gives everybody hugs. <laughs> Alice Me had a little good. breakdown. She was crying, so she's she's comforting her. You guys spend some more time in the dreamlands. Um, oh yeah. Oh, okay. That was good. That was good work. It doesn't have to be silly and, and stuff. It can just be good work. Um, so you spend some more time in the dreamlands with Cousin Melba, and you wake up the next morning. It's Saturday morning. Uh, you all feel well rested. Um, you had some good dreams and that kind of stuff. Well, good time in the dreamlands. Yeah. And um, what's the plan for today? What do you guys want to do just overall? Um, the family's planning on just hanging out. It's too cold to really go out, but there's a dinner planned. Um, everybody's going to have lunch together. It's just kind of a family time. Uh, if you guys have other, no other plans, we can just jump till after supper time tonight. If you guys want to talk or role play. <laughs> oh, wait, we can retro it in. Oh, wait. What? Uh, I wanted to ask him, I wanted to ask one of the grandpas how they sniff someone out. She wants to learn how to sniff someone out. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Barry! Barry! He tried to sniff. Oh, yes, I did try to sniff! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so you can spend a bunch of time in the dreamlands with that. Where he's like getting you different things, trying to teach you how to sniff, blah, blah, blah. Um, Melba has cats too, they're friends. If you guys wanted to learn the cat language, that's a possibility as well. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, does that carry over into the real world, or is that just. You don't know? Well, yeah, it would carry kind of over into the real world. You yeah. Need a I'll speak to cats. Does anybody have cat as a, a other language? No. Um, put down cat as another language, and you guys can spend like months there. Here's the problem. You have to make uh, you have to make a power check on coming back to maintain the knowledge. Cool. So you might as well make your power checks first to see if you can actually keep it. 
Um, less, okay. Power or less, yeah. If you make it, I'm just, I don't remember the exact rules, but uh, 100%. So you don't maintain, you don't ah, maintain what you got. You don't maintain what you got. 71. You didn't either? Made it. You made it. All right, made so. Um, just for Why do you do this to me? It's okay. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, um, go ahead and roll a D10. I'll give you that for the, and put down language, a language cat. Um, I'm going to try to learn. Though. No, you didn't get it. You don't maintain it, right? George, um, George, Donald's too busy, like, painting. Donald does all these fucking paintings of Dreamland stuff, so he's always off painting shit. And the paintings are then hung in Melville's castle. Uh, Donald, George, he spends some time there. But how much did you sleep. get? Ten. Huh? He's fine and sleeping. Yeah. Um, Donald doesn't know. He could be sleeping when he's sleeping. Wait, was Simon there with us? No, Simon was not in the Dreamlands, no. Simon can't come to the Dreamlands like that. Wait a minute. Do you just go to sleep with Simon watching over your bed? No, he goes to sleep too, I think. He likes to stay in the closet sometimes. Sometimes he goes under the bed. Uh, and sometimes he's just gone because he kind of he fades away. Where do you go when you fade away? It's to my business. Okay, fine. Okay, wow. Don't ask him that question. He <laughs> doesn't like that question, apparently. What is wrong with you? Um, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay, we're good. So. I feel safer as someone is watching. <laughs> George is like, <laughs> George just shudders. Unfortunately, I would not get that impression. That would be very bothersome. Simon will watch over you. Aww. That's what Don says. Consensually. <laughs> Simon is like nine, is what you guys saw when you last saw Simon. Yep. Uh, nine year old. Yeah, he's nine. He's, he's a hundred and He was like oh, what a lot. Nine well, year old. Yeah, he's, you know, he's not sure when he was. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's like yeah we had that argument before. Anyway, he's like eight. Like All right, so um, ghost. yeah, so you spend that day with your families doing stuff, um, chatting, making meals. And that evening after dinner, again, most of the parents go to hotels. Your parents camp out in the living room. Your parents are in the back of the truck. Uh, and your mother goes to bed. Um, and she kisses you goodnight before she goes to bed. And she said, this was a great idea, Alice. I'm so glad you suggested it. She gives a little kiss on the cheek. Good night. And then she's off to bed. Um, what do you guys want to do? I'm oh, Melba showed up for dinner, too. Actually, I have a little stain. And she kind of oh, hey. cried. I have a little stain on the sheet that actually makes it look like a tear. Oh, wow. It's like right there. It's weird. I never noticed it. Um, She's crying on the outside. <laughs> yeah. Melba showed up for dinner. She kind of crashed, and she came and had dinner. Everybody was glad to see her. Everybody loves Melba. The parents were all glad to see her. Um, some of them good, joked, oh, we don't need you to make a sit. Whatever. Uh, I, and then I, I at list, some point... I was for hello uh, in cat language. Um, okay. Yeah, Melba's very impressed. <laughs> How are you doing so well? You're so smart. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so, um, that's something most people don't say to you. I don't think. Wasn't Gertie thought of as flighty? Yeah, and, God, you speak Latin and cat? Well, no, I speak Latin. Latin. You speak she's Latin. She's starting you to learn what? cat just a little. You um, yeah, yeah, yeah. is what she's got. That's right. Uh, anyway, so, um, but Melba finds a time where she's alone with you guys, either one-on-one or as a group, and she says, alright, I'm gonna take... I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna leave after dinner, but I'm going to be around Innsmouth. I'm going to head up towards Innsmouth and be on some other roads up there. I'll clear in on our plan A plan. Okay, okay. Uh, so I think this is a good idea. Yeah. That's just where there's barricades, blah, blah, blah. That is a good idea. Um, there's half a moon tonight. Um, she just warns you, be careful. Right. Yeah, just be that. careful. She's never actually been into Innsmouth, but she's just heard that it's it's dark and dreary, especially now when most people are going. Does the, does the magic dagger stay sharp? Yeah, it has so far. Okay, then I'll sharpen her. Okay. Um, you could borrow Gordon's whetstone if you want. I have one. Oh, okay. I think I, yeah, because yeah, I have good knife skills. So okay, so uh, what's the plan? Are you going to sneak out of the house? Alice has a window on the ground floor you can sneak out of um, and knows where to get bikes. So. Yeah. Okay, so you sneak out, you steal bikes from this place where there's a bunch of bikes. Borrow, however you want to put it. Um, does anyone have any objections to that? Or do George's only that? objection is it's a girl's bike. He's like, oh, come on. I but other than that, he's fine. Ow, stop. George, shut up and get on the bike. <laughs> Why does he get a boy's bike? Can I have brought my bike? Uh, yes, yes. Your parents would allow you to throw it in the back of the car. Your ideas of gender are atrocious. 
Only one bar of iron. Okay, anyway, that's the only complaint. Donald's fine. He's like, okay, just jump on the back. You don't weigh anything. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Um, They do have some bells on some of the bikes. Um, Some of them have lights. I suggest you not wear them. The lights, looks like lights that are run off a generator, because those exist by this time. So some of the light, the bikes do have that. I don't know if you guys want to deal with that or not. I suggest no lights. Okay. Uh, And you head on up to to Innsmouth uh, via the Arkham Road. Which will take you right down there to yep. south of um, where Edward can tell you is just south of where one of the checkpoints is. We can all use that. Yeah, and Edward physically has a physical copy of that map too, but and that map that bird's eye view kind of deal. So you guys can come up. You come up this road here, and then Edward has you come over to this road where you see like concrete barricades have been set in place. Uh, you can see some light up at the checkpoint. Like one lamp is on in that little hut. Uh, there's some men up there. That's in the other road, right? Yes, that's the other road. Uh, nobody's on this road. You can just easily get around the barricade and head up towards town and go through another barricade up on that end, and then you're kind of into the town. Uh, you do see there are some lights coming from town, as if some of the street lights are still working. And you knew that even at the best of times, not all the street lights worked. So, Alice, you're the one that knows the town the best, and you've got a map with some locations on it, so where do you want to go? You guys are coming in from... Uh, wait, which road? Good question. I think it's this one. So A. Um, yes, because this last one was. Yeah, counted from that side. Boop, boop. This, so this one. That's Paul that three. one. That's Paul plan C. That's plan B. Okay, so that's where you're coming from. That's D. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was over there. You know your house, and yeah, your house, uh, your old house is right there. Number two, I believe, is your old house. Yeah, my map will be this one. So I, I need kind of a plan. Whoops. Just an idea. I'm assuming you guys will let Alice kind of say, kind of lead the way. So yeah, you guys can write all the nice scenario. I have so yes. I have my shovel and right. I'm kinda like pointing it like on the top of my bike mm-hmm. and I'm kinda using it like as a dowsing rod. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but that's okay. what I'm using it. I look right. over at you just So you're like riding like this. Stranger yeah. things have happened. Cool. So. <laughs> like, okay. George is just rolling his eyes. He doesn't he thought that Gertie knew how to ride a bike. <laughs> but he didn't say anything. <laughs> he didn't say anything. Okay. Uh, Donald keeps like whispering things that you guys can't hear it as you're on your bikes, but apparently he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and probably talking to Simon. Yeah, <laughs> Where is it? Where's Martin's? Oh, I am gonna suggest that no matter what we do, we need to probably Martin's like tear street? off at least. Uh, uh, Martin Street. Okay. <laughs> it's up here. Martin Street is. This is this right here. Number one is where is where. This is where we're trying to get. That's where you're trying to get, and you're going right. down from here. Yes. Oh, buddy. Let me make that clear. Okay, um, so we're just riding up Ball Street. Yeah, um, there are lights here. I suggest we over don't go here. Like there's some lights. Let's not go to the center. There's lights over here. I don't know if you see there. Uh, there's, uh, there's some lights <laughs> in this area here around <laughs> this square. There's some lights. I'm not even that smart. Okay. And if you need that information, you let me know. Are the lights bad? Well, I mean, she's like. spotted. Yeah, it's light. Right now, you guys, as you kind of come into town, it's very dark where you're entering town. Um, it's just very dark in this area. You can see from the moon, you got half a moon out. But, um, and you can tell there are some, some street lamps working in parts of the town, but not all of them. Um, it's dilapidated. There's a very strong smell of fish. Okay, I'm going through the places that don't have lights, so I think we're going up Fall Street. Uh, you yeah. could head up Fall Street almost to the, to the river and you see that there are lights. It looks like lights run... Like this. You know what I mean? Along this street here. Okay, so there's lights here. And, okay. and actually, Alice, it looks like the same parts of town are lit that were lit when you were living here. Because okay. n- all the street lights so were never lit. In this up Fall Street and then kind of take. Not where Bank is, yeah, the but like the street right, right here. Street. The street, it's like right here. Okay. I'm going to take a right. So the one before Fall Street. Okay, take a right. We're going to go all the way to the right. Yeah. That's that street. Up Water yes. Street. What? I hear you. Gertie also wants to try and smell one. Okay. So she'll just like start oh, sniffing man. like randomly. The smell of fish is just so strong. It's just like... Okay. Everyone kind of see what we're doing right now? It's kind of overwhelming. Okay, so we're going up. We're going up here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's like a bunch of lights right here in this area, so uh-huh. we're gonna take this street uh-huh. all the way over here. 
and then try to build up. This is where we're trying to get to this on our Hey. Which one is it? This is your plan. Oh, uh, one thing. Yeah. yeah, we're trying to get there. This place is covered in lights, though. So, or no, this this place is covered in lights, like right here. So we don't. So really we're work. stopping here before we get there. I'm taking a right, going all the way to the right, yeah. to where Water Street yeah, is, and then we're gonna like continue is. up. Like all right. Continue up here, and then turn very, yeah, that left very on very Martin very Street, and then go. Very to the <laughs> He was funny too. He was kind of okay. Happy. I want to make sure everyone knows like, where we're at, where we're going. Where to avoid the lights. Okay, show me again. Oh, oh god! I'm so sorry. <gasps> sorry, I didn't mean to. Um, so we're going, we're going up, here. up here. There's a bunch of lights here, so we're taking this road to the right. right, all the way over to the right. Okay, and then And up. then going up here, right. and then turning left on Martin Street. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And that, so you're avoiding the lit streets. What? <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. That'll get you up there. Okay, I'm just looking I'm around at the town. If I'm trying to see what's going on with like, the houses and shit while we're doing Hold on. this. Yeah, I'm assuming that you guys have uh, we're slowed like down. I'm, I'm assuming that you guys have slowed down and you're kind of saying, I think here's the plan, and you're kind of giving the gist of it. And then you said... You when we get there, we need to probably, if we're searching through stuff, we need to pair off. Pair off? Somebody you can hit. Like, if we're searching through stuff, it might get separated. We need to have a buddy system. Going. Somebody who can hit something and somebody okay. smart. Okay. I thought. Peter are off. Oh, I thought you meant. What if you can do both? One out of one. That's okay. George. Okay. <laughs> don't. Don't. Since we have four. Don't. Don't. George, stick with Donald. <laughs> we have, we have six. So if you have six, I think it should be you two. Okay. Three. Uh. Yeah, you yep, three. <laughs> yeah. Simon's like there. Sorry, Simon. Three. Yeah. Uh, two and a half. And. How do you mean to Simon? <laughs> he, does, he has a soul and no body. He's half a person. No offense, Simon. Did you hit him? <laughs> Ow! Stop you it! You slap on the face? Yeah, I'm Ouch! Like um, and then you two, and okay. then us two. So, the, the plan is if you guys have to split up, those are the, the group. Yeah, okay. Places. Um. So you're kind of telling them the route, and then you're also Red kind of telling them as it goes. Okay. Red yeah. Link's body um, system. Watch it on YouTube right now. You come up here, one up here, over. Oh, as you guys were riding up the road, you did see a car going up uh, that next one over. The first one that you checked out. Where are you? Where's your the checkpoint? Out, out point. Out, outskirts. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, outskirts? Yes, right. under. Lift. Lift again. Oh, no. There's nothing. <laughs> Why do you have three men? Uh, 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 what? One is blind in case my numbers is No, this there. is yours. Yes. You're not the fish head. It's not... <laughs> That's your plan. Okay. okay. So, up this road, um, up letter D road. As you guys are biking up this up way, D road. you spot a uh, car come and stop at the checkpoint. It looks like a big black sedan, and it stays there for a very short time, and then it drives into town. No, she. Um, the car that she had is more is more was a tour. It had a soft top. This is a big black sedan. Um, it's got it's a hard top it's car. <laughs> Nothing really happens. Maybe it does. That's bad. It doesn't feel right. Anyway, um, so you did. You guys did notice a, t- uh, uh, a, a car stop at the checkpoint, and after a few moments, drive on into town. As you guys were kind of biking into town. Okay. After you're in town, you, you don't see it. There's a lot of big houses around. These are the houses of Innsmouth, and buildings of Innsmouth. Ah. Uh, yeah. Can you take them out? Or? Oh, these are the houses. Oh. Yeah, okay. the boxes are that. Are, I I guess so I need to draw Okay. If we need to actually like deal with the street scene or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> as you guys are biking down the street, a lot of the cobblestones are missing. It's a ru- it's really rough. Um, you um. This sounds like a story. Yeah, and that's another question here. Here's another question. Do you guys want to just bike through town? Do you want to ditch the bikes somewhere and hide them and walk? You said you wanted to. How big is Smith? Um. Oh, show the POV. That's the easiest oh. way to, to, to kind of get a real view, real time view of the town. Yeah. That's what ends with this. I think we also want to be quick though if we have to escape. Her route takes you up Fall Street, here, down to the store, and then on up to uh, Aunt Margie's house is. Uh, I don't know which one it is. I think it's that second, that two story house right there on Martin Street. So. Uh, is that her car? Yes. Oh. Oh. 
So that kind of gives you an idea. At one point, there were probably over a thousand people living here, but that was years and years and years ago. How noisy are the bikes? Um, they're relatively quiet. Okay. I should say, except for George, he's got some cards that are in his books. <laughs> nah. Um, he's borrowed a bike that Alice gave him, so um. He has tassel. He has a little tassel. Yeah, it's under his bike. That's why he was a little upset. It's got a little um, tassel on the back. 